When comic pros go indie, do they get lazy? Well, this is kind of a question that was brought up on uh, one of my streams that I did, and on my Sunday coffee live stream, I actually went back and read all my comments, and this was at the very, very tail end. Now, the whole comment itself was incredibly long, but there was a nice point here at the end, and I think it's something that we can get into, and I put a lot of thought into it over the last 24 hours, well, a little more than 24 hours, because I really wanted to attack this solution, and I don't think I'm going to attack it in a way that uh, you guys will disagree with. In fact, I think there's a lot of factors here. However, for those of you who like what I do here on the channel, I do hope to inspire discussion and not just raging at each other. So if you guys do like what I do, please do me a favor and subscribe to the channel. Or what do I say? How do I do the thing? We got to like this video, subscribe to the channel and ring the notification bell. So, as all of you may know who check out the channel, I did a live stream on Saturday night with Richard Embry. Uh, we got a little bit passionate about it, but overall I had a fun conversation. And although I disagree with Richard on quite a few things, he's still a pretty good guy. He was very cordial to me. And so, yeah, honestly, I have no issues with him. But anyway, from that conversation, we definitely got a lot of people coming in. They wanted to take shots at Richard, and you know, you can't control the people who are comment. You can't control what people think. And one of the things that was said here at the very end of this, this was by DGC on my most recent Sunday Coffee. I'll put the comment up on the screen here. This is at the very tail end. He says, the only thing I would ask Richard is that all those pros who are taking one to three years to get a 60-page book out <clears throat> used to get a 22 page floppy out in one month back when they worked for marvel and dc so uh why is it that they used to do 1.4 pages a day and now they are doing 0.2 pages a day if they can even get it done in a year considering i have yet to see a book come out in less than 18 months we are looking at more like 0.1 pages a day now, obviously, the poignant fact here is, do these guys, once they leave Marvel and DC, do they just get lazy, right? That's, I, I think that's, that's the blatant question on its face. And I, no, I don't think they do at all. I, I really don't think that they do at all. Because you see what happens when they leave these larger companies is, well, they work for one company. They've got a solid paycheck coming in. Their time is dominated by that, however many hours a day they need to work for that company. When they go indie, they no longer have the marketing arms of those companies and that steady paycheck coming in. So when they go indie, they have to do it all themselves, right? And this is where I think the crux of the situation is is that although we can argue as to what's a long time for a comic to come out or not come out and so on and so forth, I think the reality of the situation is that really undercuts what's happening and what these artists have to do, okay? They now have to become their own marketing wing, right? They have to go out and they have to secure their own audience and they have to secure um, uh, basically their own customers, right? Marvel and DC for a long time had a built-in customer base, right? Guys that have been buying comics for years, they were gonna go to the comic shop every week, they were gonna buy it regardless, right? There was a lot of that for a lot of years. Obviously, Marvel and DC, that disappeared. That's why these guys went indie and they went for their own stuff. In addition to that, now that opens up their services to be doing other artwork for other people as well. It's not just like these guys are only drawing their one comic and then they're just done. No, a lot of these names pop up on other projects. Some might do, uh, they might do interiors for another project that I might, might do a bunch of pages. In addition to that, they also travel around and they do the kind of the, the live stream circuit. You know, it's really funny to see the indie comic scene because it's, it kind of looks to me uh, uh, it, it mirrors, and I said this on my Sunday coffee, is this something where it's like mirroring what the music industry was, right? Or, you know, you release an album, right? So the comic, then you go and you go on tour, which is all the comic, you know, you get on all the shows and stuff like that, promote your new book, do that. And then you kind of talk about, oh, well, now that the tour is done, we're going to go back and we're going to keep working on some other stuff and so on. So I think there's a lot of factors here that go into this, right? And I think there's a lot of things now that dominate the time of the artists other than just drawing, right? And it does have to do with other commissions. It does have to do with self-promotion. It does have to do with basically doing the tour, right? And not just self-promotion, but going out on other shows and things like that. Um, so again, this comment, and I'll put it back up on the screen now, I kind of get where DGC was coming from, but 
I was thinking about it and I'm like, I don't think frustration is the way to go here, right? And I think that for people who get that audience, if they're willing to wait that extended period of time, that's good. But on its face for people to come out and say, well, why could they do it then? And they don't do it now. You're removing a ton of factors from the equation. And that's something that I don't like to do, right? If we're gonna, if we're gonna have an honest conversation about timeliness in comics, let's, or indie comics at the very least, or indie novels. Let's let's have an honest conversation about all of the factors that it takes for somebody going from being employed with somebody else to starting their own business and employing themselves and possibly others, right? Very big difference there, very big difference. And I think that, and although I thought DGC, I, I, he, he leaned a little too heavy one way or the other in his comment, but I felt this was a great question and should spark a larger conversation and honestly force all of us to have an honest conversation. The yelling back and forth is getting a little bit thick, especially in 2024. It's kind of already off to an insane start. And so, like I said, I put a lot of thought into this. I wanted to think about, well, what are, what are other factors, right? Or do they just get lazy when they leave Marvel and DC? Do they just become grifters on YouTube and now they're just going to grift that YouTube money? Or... Are there a bunch of other factors that go into slowing down the time that it takes for them to produce the artwork? I tend to lean on the latter versus the former. But let me know what you guys think down in the comments below. Um, again, there's a lot going on into this, and I, I don't know. I just I had to think about it. I was like, okay, why? Why? It can't just be laziness. I don't, I don't, I don't like to go to that, right? I just don't. It's not something that I want to talk. No. So tell me what you guys think uh, contributes to the slowing down of the page rate once these guys go from Marvel and DC over to Indy. And I'm sure there's going to be a lot of rage comments. There's going to be a lot of stuff like that. But regardless, I read all of those every single Sunday on my show called Sunday Coffee. Okay, so if you guys leave a comment, make sure to tune in on Sundays at 11 a.m. Central. And I'll read your comments. And you guys can find out what my thoughts are on what you have to say. So as always... Ladies and gentlemen, thank you all so much for being here. And until next time, cheers, everybody. Thank you all so much for checking out this video. And I would ask, beg, borrow, and steal just to get you guys to click the links down in the description below to join my Gilded server and my adrinkwithcrazy.locals.com. Oh, and by the way, just in case you guys didn't know, I'm also over on Rumble as well. So click that link while you're down there. See you next time.